Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Um, I hope you're having a better start to the week than I am. <laughs> so this is Tag Tuesday and we are going to do the coloring discoveries of 2020 tag, which I mean, of course we're well into 2021, but I, I'm a little late to the tag game. So, um, and this one looked fun. One quick note before I get started, um, I had mentioned on my live stream and I think my coloring chat that I had kind of tweaked my knees last week when I was doing my ring fit uh, exercise routine and my left knee's better but my right knee suddenly got a lot worse yesterday. Um, I mean obviously I've not been to a doctor but I suspect it's some kind of probably from the pain that I'm feeling it's likely tendonitis. Um, just due to weak quad muscles and everything else and I was putting a lot of stress on my knees through upping my steps and through all the different squats and wide squats and different things that I was doing with ring fit and I think I just really inflamed my right knee which is a troublesome knee anyway from high school but honestly it has not hurt this bad in a long long time so yeah I am on rest for that and needless to say I am not happy because <laughs> I was going to roll back my uh, exercise goals and now that I may just have to eliminate them completely for the month um, I'm going to have to take that one week to week so probably for most of this week I am going to have to elevate my knee and just try to take it as easy as possible avoid it really aches when it when I bend it so just trying to avoid doing that as much as possible till it heals up so reason I bring that up is that might affect videos it might not um, I may have to get creative if I want to elevate my leg I need to be on the couch I might have to come up with a recording solution for the living room couch so if the difference if there's a difference in my videos um, for the next uh, few videos that's why so I just want to let you guys know anyway um, this is the Again, coloring discoveries of 2020 tag. This was started. Oh, my eye itches. Okay. This was started by Emma Colors 2020. Um, I will link to her site in the description. I will also link to the points to cover um, that she had. So let's go ahead and get started. What are your five favorite new coloring supply purchases of 2020? So this one was really funny at first because, um, and I ha had to kind of fudge one of them, um, because I actually did really good in 2020 and I did not buy a lot of new supplies. Um, I went crazy with my supply purchases in eight, 2018 and 19, and last year I decided to start reining it in, finally. And uh, I actually stuck to it pretty well through the year, so I was quite um, I was quite pleased at that. Of course, it made this particular tag question a little difficult, but I managed to scrap some together, as you can see. So this is the one I fudged on, and yeah, they're just in a plastic Ziploc bag right now. I probably need to get a case for them, and that is the 50 count of the Crayola Twistables which is surprising because <laughs> a it's a colored pencil um and y'all don't see me color much with colored pencils um and b of course it's a crayola product i've talked before about um harder leaded co colored pencils wreak havoc on my hands again i have i have tend to nice issues throughout my body through years of wear and tear um, but I have a lot of tendonitis in my hands, a carpal tunnel, and I have it in my elbows, and um, having to really press on harder colored pencils because I am a hard pressure colorist and I like bold, vibrant color causes that to flare up. So that's why you don't see me color with a lot of budget friendly colored pencils. However, these are the exception because these are super soft. Of course, they twist so you don't have to sharpen them. And um, at the beginning of the year, I just got in a mode of where I was going to color with them. And I was going to color, you know, j these, 
I have to color gently with them. And so I even did some blending and stuff. This is from Magical Jungle, but I ended up doing this double page spread, which I don't do double page spreads very often, so I can't really see it that much, but I spent, that was when I was able to go outside and it was warm and I was able to sit each day and just color a little bit. So I used those and then just a little bit of gel pen and I don't know, it was quite relaxing. I would honestly like to color again with them soon if I ever find the time. So these are super cool. I wish they'd come out with more colors. I wish there was a way they would put the names of the colors on the barrels, but you know. I don't know if that's going to happen. So, my other, my second one is also a colored pencil set. Again, shocking. These are the pencils that I'm sort of reviewing this month. I'm working on my first picture with them still, um, so it is a little slow going. These are the Norberg and Linden XL pencils. Uh, it's a 72 set. And as you can see, I do have a number of them pulled out for the project I'm working on. Um, these to me, like, I really like the colors. They have some really just pretty colors in them. And um, I hadn't bought a new pencil set. Oh, well, the twistables, the, the fudge on that was I had bought the smaller set of twistables before. So I guess it wasn't technically a new product. It was just a bigger version of it. These were the first, like, new pencil set that I bought to try out last year. Um, I saw them on Anne's channel, A Colorful Life, and like I said, the colors of them really stood out to me. I thought these would be a great complement to some of my other pencil sets. So far, I do like them, um, but we'll have to see to the end of the, give me to the end of the month to really put them through a few pages and just see overall how I like them. This is an easy one. You can't really see it too much, but this is a Jelly Roll Black Glaze gel pen. I think these are pretty new. I can't remember how I got one, um, but when I am coloring in the Mosaic Color by Number books that have the white outlines, um, I've been using, I was using gel pen up to this point. Um, to fill in the lines to get a really nice effect but when I again I don't know how I got the first gel pen but glaze the glaze type gel pen I do like jelly rolls but I filled the lines in with them and if you look if I can show it it gives it almost like a leaded glass look it's just a really nice kind of shine and just different look to how it lays down and I just fell in love with that. I ordered some more of the glaze pens. I ordered some different colors which I don't like those as much but the black ones are just are just wonderful. Um, my biggest problem is I run through them so quickly when I do these. Um, so I am going to be frequently purchasing these. I think I did one picture and it went it took that much so I guess I would get maybe three or four pictures so they're not <laughs> they you do have to run through them a lot but I just love the look of them so I will continue to buy these for sure I like them a lot I also made a new marker purchase which again was really trying to back off because I was trying to use all my markers and again I was introduced to the spring markers um, in the middle of the year and I bought the initial like I think it's 80 something color set just fell in love with them I don't know I, I love the colors in them there's a book I'm gonna show here in a little while that um, maybe I am I'm gonna have to go get it um, but there's a book I'm gonna show in a little bit that I just these were great colors for they have a lot of nice golden yellow colors if you're looking for that and I told myself I wasn't going to buy the bigger set till I'd use the smaller set. But then they went on sale and I just couldn't resist. So this is the 128 set and it is the chisel and fine tip markers. So majorly happy. I, I don't know. These and the glazed gel pens, it's tough, y'all. Like I, I feel like both of them are kind of the winners. But then we have these 
which I got on like a Black Friday sale, I think. Um, oh, why can't I think right now? Yep, it was a Black Friday sale, and um, <laughs> there it is. I decided to get these to try them. I have paint markers, the Zayar paint markers, but they're the really fine point, smaller ones. And so I wanted some bigger ones that could um, cover bigger areas. And so this is a set of 14. I do believe they might have a bigger set that I would like to get. And uh, these suckers have one heck of a tip on them, as you can see. And uh, I think they're great for, tra I wanted to use them for like tracing outlines on pictures and stuff like that. And, uh, oh, these are gorgeous. I love the white paint marker is just money. Like, that sucker <laughs> covers up so much of my oopsies. It's not even funny. These are really um, advertised as paint, like rock painting mark, uh, paint markers. But I'm telling you, they work great in coloring books. This is the picture that I tried them on. And um, I used them on like the lights. I used them here. The gold was right there. I outlined the fence with them. I was trying to think, was there anything else? I think that was it, but oh, the snow, I also outlined in the white and I used the white to make the little hat look puffy. And I just love them. They were smooth. The paint came out very nicely. I didn't have to continuously stop and like prime like sometimes I have to do with the Zayar markers. Um, these were just very s smooth flowing and I love them and I will be using these so m I just, I want them to come out with more of them. I really do. So again, <laughs> it's a tough one. This, the glaze gel pens and the spree markers. Um, if I had to say just for sheer amount of use, I would say the spree markers probably win as my favorite. If I were to say my absolute favorite product of 2020 was the spree markers. Alrighty, I forgot I had to go grab a book and I had to go get some more coffee. All right. Number two, what are your five favorite book purchases of 2020? Now, this one was a little more difficult. I had to make some real tough choices. Um, <laughs> while I've got a lot more mindful about my supply purchases, not so much with my book purchases, um, which is why I've really been trying to focus on that here lately. But I did narrow it down. Let's see here. Some of these may not come as a surprise to you. So we're going to start with this one. This was my first Mindware book. Um, I saw their Color Count series and I wanted to give them a try. And of course I like fantasy um, books a lot. So I was drawn to their Mythical Fantasy. This book I actually have partially completed. I guess you could count it as completed. I did fill in all the versions with the color by numbers in there. Um, they have two versions of each picture. It is, what's that? So they have a version where there's numbers and then they have a version where there's, you come up with your own. This is actually part of my 10 books to finish. These also, the color count books also come out come with um, double page fold outs and I'll show you some of the finished ones of those in a minute but so for a lot of you you know that have been around a while you know that uh, my cat Annie passed away I think at the end of July last year and it it has been tough it still is tough I mean of course but Hmm. This is really nice too. I'm not noticing any bleed over into the blank pages, so that's cool. After she passed away, there were just times I needed something to do with my hands. And for some reason, I picked up this book and I just got it in my head that I was going to finish this book and all of it. And I used, I think, spree markers for all of it. So here are some of, the, I had to tear out the double page ones. They were just easier to do. But I don't know. Their designs and the way they do their colors are just different. 
I, I like it a lot. Like I said, a lot of the Spree, and this was with the 80 set of Sprees, mind you. I didn't even have the big set yet. And um, I just, that's upside down, Michelle. <laughs> Boy, that really is a mythical fantasy. Like, I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> it's like an underwater level in a video game. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I really like the double page spreads. Those, those have been those were really nice. Um, I liked them very much. And so because of that, I ended up buying more of these. But this is just special to me because it helped me get through a time where I was really hurting. So I guess in a way, that's kind of why the book's special. But it also made me fall in love with the format of these books. And I've been collecting more since. So there's that one. Um, we have this one. Speaking of books that I discovered, or sets of books, I found the mystery colors last year. Um, a lot of people were coloring out of them. I did get the mystery colors book from Amazon, but I didn't want to subscribe to another uh, subscription coloring service. I was still debating on coloring heaven at the time, and I just, I didn't like the idea of getting magazines I wouldn't actually color. But I saw this one and I saw people coloring in it and I just fell in love with it. And I'm telling y'all, jungle books and jungle animals are like becoming my group, my thing. And you'll see me refer to Magical Jungle a lot because that's my favorite Joanna Basford book too. So I think I'm starting to like jungle animals. Anyway, this was the first time I had gotten the magazine. And this is also part of my 10 books to finish this year. And I don't know what it is about the mystery colors. They're just, they're beautiful. Like, I mean, just the colors and, and I'm not like a huge snake fan and I don't know what it is, but like, I like the snakes in here. I like this thing. I think I know what it's called, but I can't pronounce it. It begins with a C. <laughs> I even like this dude and I'm usually not big on monkeys or whatever that thing is. I probably call it a monkey and it's actually not a monkey, but whatever. Anyway, like, I like the, the vulture. I, I like all the animals in here. And fortunately, one of my friends on here told me there's no spiders in here, which is what I was really concerned about because I do not like spiders. Um, but I love it. I love this book. It's just every animal. I don't care if it's soft and cuddly or not. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So I am I am moving and grooving on that one. And honestly, I may ultimately just subscribe because I just, I like the style of, like with color counts, I like the style that they do with their color by numbers. Wow, three out of five of these were color by numbers. <laughs> I got this late last year. I just, this is another series. Um, it looks very similar to the Chartwell Press books that I have. I have a few of those, but this one looks like it's printed by Arcturus. Apparently, I got, there is a U.S. version. Of course, this is like the British spelling. I guess on Amazon, somehow, I was able to get this early. <laughs> I don't know how, but some people were like, hey, this isn't released yet. Um, so, I guess I have the older version. I don't, if they've released it like an, a U.S. version or whatever, it may be different, so, but I'm going to still put the link and I'll make a note of it. I don't know. I fell in love with this. I, I love all these, this style of color by number again, but it's just, I actually look at the pictures for this one. <laughs> these aren't really mystery pictures, so, but when I look at them, I mean, I can see myself coloring every single one of these. They're just amazing. I, I love, I love the pictures in this one. In fact, I want to color in this one next, I think. There's a fairy right there. I know Lauren loves color. Oh, there was this one. Yes, this is the one I'm going to do next. Down here is this gorgeous fairy in green. We are doing that one next. But just, I don't know. They're just beautiful pictures. And... I love that the color legend folds out in these books. <sighs> if only every color by number gave us that option. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would never, never complain again about, about that. That would be nice. 
It's like on my wish list. Boy, there would be a tag idea. Hmm, I think I'm going to cook up a tag. All right, so this one is by Camelia Angelkova, and this is 50 Halloween Mandalas. I have said numerous times on here that I am not the biggest fan in the world of mandalas, but um, her mandalas I really dig because of this free form in the middle. It's not a full pattern throughout. You have, you know, maybe on the edging there's a pattern, but like the inside's a, a regular picture. And and I love that format. I do. I just, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I do like mandalas and just sometimes it's wonderful to just get a mandala and have the pattern and have the colors already set out for you. I figured that out with a pattern book I got from Jade Summer. Sometimes that's just soothing, but really and truly this to me hits all the buttons. I get a little bit of my pattern, but I also get a chance to be, to have a little bit of free form creativity in the middle. I do like the Halloween one, again, is my favorite because of course Halloween is like my favorite holiday of the year. I did do this one last month. If you saw, this is my first one out of the book. Um, and since uh, Rosie is doing a all year long Halloween color along, I am already trying to come up with ideas for this one because I want to get back into this. But love it. Love it. It just, I just like pages and through it. It just makes me happy. And finally, for the five favorite book purchases, is this one. And some of these people you see, you're going to hear about again in just a minute. But uh, Eva Carrera, and I know I probably mispronounce her name every time, but I have a number of her books, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But this book, I just adore. Absolutely adore. Like, if I never color a page in this, you will still have to pry it from my cold dead hands because I just, I am in love with the art in this book. It's just amazing. The feeling from this book is, I just can't describe it. Like emotionally, this hits the buttons for me. Plus it's got cats doing people things. And we've talked about how much I love books that have animals doing people things. So like some of the pictures have this black, this gorgeous black kind of background to them. Like I said, this is more of like art to me than necessarily just a coloring book. So you have your nameplate page. You have a test page. I'm just going to show you a few pictures out of here. I probably should have showed you more pictures out of the other ones, but <laughs> like the Halloween Mandalas one, but there are definitely plenty of flip throughs on those. Um, but they go through different places in the world, like here's Rome, and it's like a double page spread of a, just a scene in Rome, and you got her trying some perfume, and he's helping her out, he's got his little hat on, you got them just happily getting some gelato, um, You've got some cats ordering pizza back here. You've got one on a scooter with a cute little helmet with a little ear, with the little ears on the helmet, guys. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, and this one, like where they're cut out so his ears can poke up. I mean, just, it's so cute. It's so beautifully drawn. And you have some that, you know, prompt you to do different stuff. I love this picture. <laughs> He lost his helmet, and he is just looking like he is not having the best day. He's trying to eat, he's trying to eat his gelato. Oh, the birds knocked it off. So, the man's just minding his own business on a scooter, eating his gelato, trying to take all his shopping purchases home, or she. Um, no, he's got flowers for his sweetie, and then here come the birds that just have, you know, majorly ruined his day, and there goes his helmet. Poor guy. Anyway, that's pretty much how the book goes, and it's just incredible. Like, you have some that are just single pages. She's kind of grayed out some of this, so you could, like, technically color all this blue or use grays to kind of darken where some of it's actually underwater. You've got little small bits here, like these cats curled up with the turtles and their eggs. Oh my gosh, y'all. Just 
y'all. The puns in here. I saved this for last because really and truly, I just, I do. This, this book makes me so happy where they're sitting on the kiwi birds and the kiwi birds or the kiwi chicks or whatever they are on the cats. I mean, y'all, these are so intimidating in terms of wanting to color them, but they're just so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I, I love it. Love it. These I want to finish. I want to do a page in this book. And not only do I want to do a page, I want to do a big double page spread. I love this one at the end where they're sitting there looking at the sky. Isn't that just gorgeous? I just, I just love it. I just, really and truly, this is hands down my favorite book purchase of 2020. And pretty much, I think, one of my favorite book purchases ever in like the three years I've been doing this. All right. <laughs> oh, I missed this question. What is one most precious coloring supplier book that you have purchased that you never use because it's too special? Um, well, we're going to go back to this. I, I'm telling y'all, I am terrified to color in this book and it is just super special and I just it's going to be so hard for me to get this right and I and what I love is that they're all single page so I don't I can use markers if I want to but I do know markers bleed and these just these don't yell marker to me entirely except for the big areas so it's like I'm just super intimidated by this and I know I can go get another copy but I just I don't want to mess it up I really don't I just love looking at it look at this y'all I mean he's he's got his bread he's bringing it to tea you got your babushka cat here <laughs> with her, her little scarf around her head and they're just having a little tea party and snacking on cookies it's just I love it. I really do. I've I've been hurting this morning and I felt so down on myself and I'm telling y'all just looking through this is an instant mood booster. I feel so much better now just from this book. So I would say this answers question three for sure. Uh, four, name five new YouTube channels, YouTubers you're most glad to have discovered this year and why. So I'm assuming that they're new to me some of them may not necessarily be new. Okay, so this one, we're just, we're just going to page through this while we talk about this. Some of these, I am not 100% sure when I started following them, but it may have been the year before. We're just going to page through this while I'm talking again. Um, but these are channels that I actively started watching last year. I know, I feel confident about the first one is uh, Shayna in Colorland. I absolutely adore her. She is down uh, in Florida around Disney. And I love hearing her stories about, about her work, even with the COVID issues. Um, and she's just, she's super sweet, y'all. I, I just, I don't know. I really enjoy listening to her. I love her channel. It's awesome. The Coloring Diva is the next one. Um, I don't, I hadn't been following a lot of channels that have um, a lot of, you know, new purchase reviews, a lot of like, hey, here's a good deal type videos. Um, mostly just because I don't need to be buying any more stuff. We've, we've covered this, right? But um, I, towards the end of the year, I uh, started, I had followed her at some point, but then I really um, realized she was having a year-long hashtag this year in the Hannah Girls, Hannah Girls, they are kind of Hannah Girls, aren't they? Hannah Land's Whimsy Girls for the, uh, celebrate the holidays, and so I started following her channel, and I just, I like that she shows a variety of purchases, not just from like, say, Amazon, but also from um, like, uh, the dollar store, or discount stores or Walmart or somewhere like that and then um, I just I don't know I like the variety that she shows um, 
and she's just she's got a really awesome channel and I like her upbeat <laughs> attitude I love it <sighs> then there is coloring with Haley now I know I know I started following her last year and Haley is super cool like she um, I believe she wants to go into biology um, and correct me if I'm wrong you're watching this Haley but she keeps a lot of um, different types of animals at home. Not, she does have a cute, cute little pup, but um, she also keeps some animals that a lot of people may not necessarily like, like frogs, I think, are some of her favorites. Um, she's got, I think it's a different type of possum, but she's got a possum. She's got tarantulas. Guys, I was willing to watch her videos trying to show the tarantulas. <laughs> because I was just so fascinated like they scare the the bejeez out of me and I cannot stand spiders but I don't know you can tell she's really passionate about her animals and when she she's done videos talking about them and showing them off and it just it's fascinating I don't know like and she's going through college right now it reminds me of when I was going through college many 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 moons ago and um oh, yeah. anyway i love i love her channel i do anytime she has a new video up i have to go i have to go look at it plus she colors uh some stuff she colors is a little different than some of the other channels i watch and again it's not stuff that i necessarily would color but i love watching other people color so and she has a way with posca pens y'all <laughs> she really does uh, Ren's coloring craze. I have been, um, I again, not sure when I subscribed to her, but I did start uh, watching her videos more last year. And um, she did one, and it, it's really technically this year, but she did this really cool video. Um, and I think she's got some more planned with uh, different types of crayons. And I abandoned the idea of coloring with crayons a long time ago. And um, but now I went I went I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all I went and bought some crayons <laughs> and we're gonna do a video on them probably at the start of next month um so they're gonna have to sit there for a little bit but she she got me to go buy some crayons but she does a lot of really cool flip throughs I love her finished pictures and she's just she's got a really really great attitude so and uh ja ja coloring uh it's j a capitalized with the exclamation point and then coloring she does a lot of speed colors and um haul videos she uh has of course her completed pages videos and again she just i love she sounds so upbeat and i love her humor and um when she does have like color and chat videos and i like seeing her speak colors i'm normally not a big fan of speak colors but sometimes i like seeing her when i'm working i will pull up one of her speed colors with the music and just check on it every now and then like i would a color and chat and it's really soothing it's really soothing i like it a lot i have another one because i'm cheating uh thunder junkie i really like her videos as well and um she gave remember the the one i really remember is her tour of like her coloring area and her office and she just had some really cool unique stuff um but i just yeah all these all these channels i've mentioned they they just have great attitudes they're awesome they're super nice and they're just a lot of fun i and and this one was hard mostly just i was trying to figure out who i started watching last year because i still that was the part i couldn't remember is who i actually actively started watching last year so okay so there are my new youtube channels new to me at least youtube channels and there's the book so i wanted to give y'all something to look at while i was babbling all right so name three new artists you have discovered in 2020 again what the heck is that sound what are okay that's my chair i thought the cats were getting into something um again i'm gonna cheat a little on this because it's gonna be four i couldn't i couldn't 
couldn't decide. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to talk about the first one because you just saw me blubber over her other book. Eva Carrera was the biggest one I discovered last year. And I think right now I have all her cat-related books. I don't know if she has anything else. But she just put out Cats and Flowers Volume 2 last year. These are also gorgeous. I just love her artwork. I love her love of cats. I love that she draws them in scenes where they're acting like goofballs because that's totally what cats do. Um, it's like, <laughs> like this right here. This is, this is totally realistic cats. And showing their beauty and their humor along with flowers. I just, I adore it. She also has her volume one, which I believe was the very first book I got from her. And I like she names what flowers they are too. Makes it easy if I want to color them realistically. And then finally, she does have a mandala book that I am very drawn to. Because, of course, it is cats. The smallest feline is a meowster piece. <laughs> I love the puns. Love it. Love it. But she has cat mandalas too. And of course, you've seen her cats around the world. So, love her. Love her. Absolutely. Will just any book she puts out, I just sign me up. I am, even if it's not cats at this point, I, I just love her art and I love her humor. The next one you've seen also, uh, Camelia Angelkova. Her mandalas, other than the cat mandalas book, are the ones that I am most drawn to because of the free form in the middle. She also started publishing these miniature books last year. I don't really, I don't go much for her uh, really detailed mandalas, though I do have her nighttime one with the black background because I do like those. But she came out with these miniature books starting last year and she did the seasonal ones and I had to get every one of them. <laughs> Guys, these pictures are just adorable. I mean, she just came out with another one. It's uh, romantic miniatures. And I had to put it on my list because, of course, I'm trying to back off my book buying. But I love these because these are just small bits of pictures where you could easily color them in a sitting with marker or pencil because they're single-sided. There's 50 of them. Great deal for the book price. I just, I don't know. She's, I love her art style. I just, I adore her miniature books. I think she's got more planned for this year, and I'm just, again, sign me up. Um, the third one is Belba Family. I think I have this right. Yeah. Just really discovered them last year. Last year is when I really embraced the mystery mosaics. Like, I like the Color Quest books, but last year was when I really embrace the mystery mosaic kind of idea where I'd get a picture and I wouldn't really know what it is till I colored it unless I wanted to cheat and look at the answers of course you know me I don't ever like doing that they have a wildcats book and I, this is the one this is the one that got me on board with them they do like the three by th three squares like this and you get like kind of looks like a some of them look a little more realistic, but you almost, it's almost like a 8-bit video game type look to them. And of course, I've been working in this one, and I love it. I have no idea what these pictures are when I start. They are color by number. This was my favorite one. Actually, I'm really surprised I have not blacked out. I'm going to go back and black out all the edging just because I love how it looks like that. It'd be really cool if they did the black background, but obviously they would have to put the um, color chart somewhere so you could do that. But as you can see, I do like blacking out the backgrounds. And um, anyway, so I love these types of books. I did get a few more in this format. But they also do not only those squares, they do puzzle color by number. This All About Christmas book has a com combo of a lot of them. Here's like the puzzle color by numbers which is a grid and certain colors go into the different grids i haven't tried those yet of course uh, danny buttons is doing a year-long christmas color lawns this would be a great time to try these you also have the little squares that i like there they are 
like these. And then you also have some color by number here at the end, just like regular color by number type pages. And I like these a lot too. I have not tried any of them, but anyway, I love what they put out. They're always trying new things, um, trying new things with color by number, um, yet keeping their palette pretty consistent. Um, and they're also, you know, keeping true to some of the stuff that, of course, people like about them and want them to do more of. They also have put out the stone mosaic books, which I like a lot as well. Um, just always trying new stuff. And they're very active on social media. And I always appreciate when artists are active on social media. Final one. Holy Hannah, this took forever, <laughs> this video. I had put in such and such diva. This is the only book I have of his, but I'm telling y'all my wish list is stuffed full of his books. I just, he came in right at the end when I went on my mindful book buying uh, journey. And so the only one I actually got, no, no, I have two of his. Uh, Halloween color by number one, and then this festive Christmas one. And his pictures are adorable. These are again super, I love these, they're just super simple pages that I can sit and finish in like an hour. I could use pencil, I could use marker. They're just, they're super cute. They're just super cute, y'all. I love them. And I've got his Halloween one. I like that one as well. Um, a lot of images packed in here. His wife is also an artist. I haven't tried any of her books yet. But anyway, I wanted to include him as well because he's got a bird's color by number book that I just really 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 want right now but we're we're gonna hold off maybe as a reward if I can ever meet some of my goals <laughs> finally show your six favorite doesn't have to be the best coloring pages completed in 2020 well y'all are gonna get a little bonus here because I actually did a five favorite pages of 2020 video that I'm going to link in the description at the end of last year. So what I did with the exception of one is I pulled five more pictures that I just love that didn't quite make it into the five favorites. So I guess this would kind of be like the 10 favorite pictures of 2020. So these are my five honorable mentions. So I figured we'd do this just to give you all a little variety. And funny enough, one of them is actually on Fanciful Foxes. Is, as you know, I am doing Foxy February this year. This is by Marjorie Sarnet. I did this during Sarnet September last year using uh, different types of alcohol markers. I did some straight coloring. I did some blending. And it's just beautiful. I, I don't know. I look at this picture and it is super soothing. It is super relaxing. Um, and I just, I adore it. Like I said, this was a really tough call when I, I mean, the, the Sanderson sisters picture for Magical Fairies kind of just took it, but like this one was a really close second to me. Just visually, I love how it turned out. Country Cats coloring book. I believe I did this one during, um, Cattober which was a color along I co-hosted with John, the Bibliophile Colorist. We did this picture. I believe I used Cop my Cop Copic markers for this. And he is so cute, like with his little fangs sticking out. He reminds me of Maggie. And uh, this just, I mean, those Copic markers blended great on this paper. And I'm sure some people are horrified I used Copic on Amazon paper, but like, hey, whatever. I'm going to use what I have. And they did great. Love how the straw bales turned out. He turned out okay. I wish he had been a little bit grayer, but like the background's beautiful. The different color pumpkins. I just, I do. I love this picture. Love it. Another Copic one. This is also Kamalia Andrakova. She does some fantasy books, like 50 gnomes, 50 fantasy, 50 fairies. We know I don't need any more fairy books, so I'm holding off on that one. I did this picture on camera, again with the Copics, um, and it's just so cute. I don't know, just, it's adorable. Like, the colors, I love the purples and the oranges, and I just, I don't know. These were just colors. I didn't have a palette in mind. 
I had a few ideas and then I just built on it and then it just it turned out really cute and this one I tried instead of just blending I tried to do more of like outlining in the darker color and I really like the effect it gave I need to do that more often fairy magic by color questopia this is actually the first picture I tried the glaze black glaze uh, gel pens in I changed up the coloring uh, a little bit of the back to get that nighttime sky I did add in some different colors of like purples and pinks and stuff just for fun blacked out the edging and then used that black glaze that gave it that super cool look and it just added the white it's just pretty I don't know it's just it's pretty you can see the numbers faintly in some places but like I don't care it turned out cute whether it's a color by number picture or not it's still a cute picture from baby dragons I did this one because I think I was talking about my most colored in books at one point last year and I saw this one I hadn't colored yet which of course is the cover one and I thought my little pony and spike the dragon from My Little Pony. So that actually create got me my color palette. And it, again, just turned out cute. I used some glitter markers on his scales. It's not super glittery, but it at least gave me a little bit of a texture effect. So I like that one a lot. I like the colors, even though I'm not a pink person. Of course, My Little Pony, you had their pink and blue little uh, mansion, so... And finally, I have to show this one because, again, this is my overall favorite picture of 2020. It's from the Animal Wonderland special from Coloring Heaven. This was done using castle art pencils, and um, I did it in honor of Annie. And y'all heard me before, just this helped with healing some. I, of course, colored the cat like her, and it just, in my mind, I was thinking this would be, you know this is this is kind of her gosh it got sun came out it got real bright all of a sudden but um I don't do a lot of color pencil pictures but this just became a project and I worked on it a little bit every day and I just I don't know I love how it turned out and I feel like it was a good tribute to her and this is one that's in my other video but again it is my overall favorite picture of the year and it did help me help me heal some so I do like showing it anyway that's it guys um yeah this took a bit <laughs> y'all know once i get talking it's never gonna be just a 20 minute video right so yeah um i'm not gonna tag anybody in particular on this um and but i ba basically i'm gonna tag everybody if you haven't done this tag yet and you'd like to please do i do love seeing these now that i have found them i'm working my way through them and again i'm a little late to the party but that's okay um <laughs> the party don't start till i walk in <laughs> my um non-existent teenager is rolling her eyes and saying all right mom time for a nap let's put you down for your nap see my knees are going I'm turning 40 and here my knees are going and my brain's been foggy lately so you know it's already starting to set in right like I am just going over <laughs> I'm not just going over the hill I am like busting through the hill and um, so I guess now it's time for me to go take my uh, go take my nap and <laughs> like sure mom okay but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was a lot of fun. I really had to think about some of these. Um, like I said, I it was nice to see that last year I really did get a lot more careful about buying new stuff because I still have other stuff to use up. And so this year I would like to be able to do the same thing when it comes to coloring books. I mean, obviously it's not just going to be five coloring books this year, but it shouldn't be, I shouldn't be buying as many as I am because they're all amazing and that's the problem with discovering new artists right is like every time you discover new artists you're like oh I want to go get all their stuff too and it just it's hard like I want to buy up so many whoops I want to buy so many of these such and such diva color by number books 
and I have to just put them on my list. I just, there's no way I'm going to have time to color them right now, and I'm trying trying to use that list as more of an incentive for me to meet my, like, little goals and stuff, so... Um, the miniatures book. Camelia Andrakova just came out with a romantic miniatures book, and I'm going to hold off on it. It's hard. It's hard when you have new artists and you want to support them. And, but you gotta, you got to draw that line somewhere. It doesn't mean you don't ever buy another book. You just got to slow it down. So, so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will be back on Thursday. As we continue through the collection, we might just go ahead and stick with, we'll either go with fantasy or I'll delve into some animal books. I don't know. We might do animal books, because why not, right? Just mix it up a little. So I'll be back on Thursday with that, and then Saturday's video, I'm not doing a live stream this week, um, at least not one plan, um, so it'll probably just be a normal color and chat, and then... Hopefully Sunday I'll have something <laughs> different to give y'all. I had a video plan this past Sunday, but nothing, it didn't really pan out, which is why I had to do the color and chat back to back to the live stream. I'm trying to mix it up so each video you get something, you know, a little different. So it's just not me coloring and talking all the time. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. So this is one of the feather toys. I actually attached it to this wand, which is a one you can pull apart or pull to expand. I think it's Jackson Galaxy maybe. And then you can pull the string as well. So we're gonna try this out and see how this goes. Where's Leroy? Leroy, uh-oh. Well. Figured out who was first on the first on the draw for this. We got a Maggie. Ooh, gotta sniff it. Gotta sniff it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. This is gonna set up a bad, bad stare down, I'm afraid. Oh look at him. He likes it. Ooh, ooh. Kill the bird. Kill the bird. Get the bird. Should turn the light on. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's playing with the bird. You're playing with the bird. Is you? Oh, oh, oh. oh, she likes the birds. She likes the birds. Oh, the bird, 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 bird. bird. <laughs> <laughs>